Please, let's go. <laughs> I don't die. This is too big. It's too big. I've been working for it. I'm very happy again to see you to my channel and I want to welcome you back to my channel. In today's episode, I've had a lot of questions. I mean, after the first video, people are asking me if I could go to a different store and explore that place as well. So today, we are in Lieta. And Lieta is a very, very popular supermarket in Russia. Now, what we are going to do there today is we're going to check how many products are remained and what products are available in Lieta after a year of sanctions in russia so today we hope to show you content products that are available there what we have to do right now is to stay tuned sit by your popcorn and watch us on the media and if you haven't subscribed yet please do so to support our channel stay tuned and watch us as we explore follow me Yeah, so guys once again i am here with this one hello this guys month. how you doing thank you guys for everything you have been so wonderful we love you guys so this one what are you what's, what's your feeling how are you feeling about this man i'm feeling so great man so so wonderful today man because the weather is so good today so it's part of things that are making me very very good. all right so today we're going to show our people what's available in lenta yeah lenta it's a very big supermarket of course man. it's bigger than small city very big than small city <laughs> so let's go bye, -bye. Mm -hmm. See, the Russian market has been um, an issue of concern in the international community. So this time around, let's see the types of fruits that are available on the Russian market. People usually ask me whether Russians are eat fishes. Well, you'll be surprised the variety of fishes available here as well. One amazing thing I've found about Russian milks are that they are very pure and natural. Have a look.
note right here is called biobalance in russian and in english bio in english and balance in russian <laughs> so weird yeah Yeah, in the, in the aspect of um, detergent soaps and things we used to wash. Uh, wow, they have area here, man. These things, I've always seen these things in Nigeria. I've not seen this for my first time I'm seeing it here in Russia. It's so surprising. They have different kind of things here, different kind of detergents. It's so, it's so surprising. It's so surprising. Different kind of size. I, I don't think it's good. It's very expensive. Man, this, this looks good. It looks good. Yeah. I think they have they have different like they have different uses you understand Guys, we finally at noodles. These are the available noodles on the Russian market. So you can come. I think we have the Slavna, which is definitely a Russian product, which costs about 39.99 rubles approximately. And this is also uh, another macaroni, also a Russian brand, also costing about 45 rubles, as you can see. And this is another type of spaghetti also 22 robots so as you can see most of the noodles you see here are russian made products this accounts for the reason why russians are actually resilient to sanctions now let's have a look this is also a different type of noodles for people of different tastes also cost about 70 robots about 70 robots so all these noodles, I can say that I can conveniently say all these noodles are Russian made. Are Russian made. Now I'm looking for an internationally made noodles. Let's look for it together. Now this is a very important aspect we should know as international students. It's spices. I know when I was coming to Russia, people told me that I should be able to carry along with me spices I need to cook. I wasn't able to carry a lot of spices. That is why uh, I am very particular about this. So I'm going to show you some number of spices available on the Russian market. Uh, hey guys, watch out. If an African, I know Africans will like pepper a lot. You have it covered. Look at the pepper. This is like about eight robots. Very cheap. Not even up to a dollar. This is another. Uh, what is this? Paprika. Oh. I don't know. What is this? Mm, in my language, we, we can call it um, Shombo. What? Or Tatashi. Tatashi? Yeah, that's the logo on top. Uh, yeah, tatashi. we can call it Tatashi. Yeah. Nigeria is Tatashi. <laughs> in Ghana, we call it Meko. This one we call it atarudo. Ah? Yeah, that's atar. It's it means pepper. So we call it atarudo. See, there are a lot of varieties of there are different varieties of pepper on the Russian market. Oh. What is this? Another pepper. It's still another type of pepper. Yes. Wow. What's this? This is red black pepper. Wow. Perret surely <laughs> pepper black. I mean, there are different varieties of spices you need to make yourself comfortable in Russia. So this is Lenta. I mean, see, I'm already exhausted. The place is so huge. That's so one. big, so big. I've been working for more than 30 minutes, man. So guys, these are actually products that are available on the Russian market. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them, if you're watching this right now, I don't know how you are feeling, but I am feeling blessed. So blessed, man. These are cookies that are available on the market. 
you can see them a lot of them some of them are known some of them i don't really know them and i would like to try the ones i don't know this one do you know any biscuits around um yeah 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 which one do you know yeah 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 i think i know this one oh. i think i know this one is a chocolate biscuit okay i think i know this one and of course i know this one of course yeah, I know this one. It tastes very good, man. Mm. Very good. How much is it? It's 169. 170 rubles. Mm -hmm. right. But I bought it once anyway. Alright. Yeah, so um we are the expert of um wines, aquas and different things like that, you understand? So let's check out what they have here. Man, it's a little bit expensive, but I think it's normal because these are high classic. They are, they are they are classical drinks, man. They are classical drinks. Six hundred, seven hundred rubles. It's good. It's good. It's good. I've not seen any this kind of things in Africa before. In my country, I don't know. I've not seen this, this, this product. This looks ah, another kind of wines here, man. This one's another dimension. <laughs> so we are in the categories of bread. You know, Russians are very much known for breads exotic breads and trust me these breads are very they vary in shapes in sizes and in taste and spoiler alert russian breads are mostly hard the other they are the lesser they are i call this the cane bread like kind of like cane i call this oh wow it's very soft Oh, I'm surprised. How much is this bread? About 83 rubles. Okay. There are varieties of breads here, and you can see they are just doing fine. Like pizza, pizza bread. Guys, is there any bread that you cannot find here? You can write it in the comment section. The type of bread that is not available in the internet. You can write it in the comment section. Desmond, do you love ice creams? Yeah, I love ice creams. I, I love them so much. There are a variety of ice creams here, you know? A lot of them. You know, I tasted one of them the other day. It's very good. Which one did you taste? It's very good. I think, um, um, which one of these is this one. It tastes very good. Yes. How much does it cost? Scoot us to it. I think one, um, 110 rubles. Very good. How much will it be in dollars? Not up to one dollar. No, oh, that's like one point. Yeah, one dollar in some sense, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, so in, in Russia, you can get an ice cream for a dollar and a cent. Yeah. And some cents. Yeah, some cents. But it is very good. That's the most amazing part. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you love, if an ardent lover of ice cream, Russia is a place you can actually get a variety of ice cream. Anything for yourself. <laughs> I mean. I'm so shocked the number the variety of stars we found here in Russia. Different I don't know. Kind of stuff, I'm stunned. Man. Even though there are a lot of things to be able to try, I feel kind of at, at home. Yeah. I think the most amazing part. You know? This store, this lenta, they work 24 hours. They work 24 hours. 24 hours, man. They work 24 hours. So it's very amazing. I don't believe so. Of course, I have. I, I came here one day around 12 p.m. 12 p.m. I'm sorry, I came here around 12 p.m. and they were still working. Until somebody tells us in the comment section whether it's true. I'm not yeah, sure. that. Someone should confirm that for, for us too. But this, this I is by almost Coca Cola. Is this not a, a farming oh. brand, Coca Cola? Finally. I don't think I don't think it's the original one. It's the original Coca Cola, right? I think we'll be able to see Coca Cola now. I mean, for once, once in the. I mean, Coca Cola is still not pulled out of the ocean. Yeah, there's just some few products left. Yeah.